Welcome to Chewing the Curve with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Ray. Welcome to this week's episode of Wish You Were Queer, where Mike and Dr. Phil have arrived in Borneo. You can still reach out to us though. It's at the Could TV on social media where you can follow us, the Could.tv for our website and on YouTube and podcast services. Look for Chewing the Could and hit subscribe. And as people who have popped up in our comments go scrolling along the bottom of the screen, we go to Sepilok, Orangutan Sanctuary. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Today we're at Sepilok, the Orangutan Sanctuary. We're also going to see some sun bears as well. While we're here though, we do have to keep our faces covered with a face mask to protect everyone. So while we're here, let's go inside. Probably just come out to welcome the guests. Ah, the one with the oh, baby. Got a baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, she's got a baby. So always keep your distance. Mm -hmm. yeah. If they're too close, uh, give it to them. Especially the mother with the baby. Try not to have eye contact with the mother because uh, it's something like that. You are provoking her. Yeah. Does it, is it going to poop on you? It's not going to poop on us. Um, we were basically told to stop looking at it. <laughs> you were told to stop looking at yeah, it? Yeah, because it sees it as a, as a threat. To oh, start, okay. So. Now, these are macaques. I'm, I am animals. familiar with them. <laughs> You're familiar with a macaque. They're not particularly very attractive. Are they? They're not, no. Um, but the they are of the inside out bum variety. <laughs> they are of the inside out prolapse monkeys. Um, so that's the right and the baby getting fed. <laughs> Are they, are, can they be aggressive orangutans? Yeah, yeah, they can rip your arm off quite easily. What I'd like to see is it to pick one up and snap its neck. <laughs> but yeah. Um. <laughs> Oh my god, he's Well, at least somebody was getting some. <laughs> exactly, it's the circle, and it was anal as well. Oh. Which was illegal. Oh, did illegal the, did the popo not turn up and <laughs> drag it away? Oh, popo not turn up and drag it away. Yeah. Um, no, surprisingly, the popo did not. How did you know it was anal? Because it was big flaring. Because anatomy. Yeah. That might be how they have sex, the, to get to the vagina. Always taking up the wrong one. Monkey vagina. Monkey vagina. That's Monkey not a phrase vagina. I would be saying today. <laughs> the thing um, is, I was expecting you to say that phrase at some point today. <laughs> <laughs> um, cute. They are very cute. Sadly, none of them are dressed up, which is what I would. Because <laughs> they're trying to be released to the wild. Yeah, but we can still, you know, feather boa is not going to harm anybody. So. <laughs> <laughs> a feather boa is not going to harm anybody. And green for the environment. It would be nice. Um, I kind of like still thinking of like, like chimps tea parties from like. I thought you might be. Yeah. yeah. Do you? So you're not allowed to touch them. Nope. You know that's as close as you can get. Mm -hmm. And then if if they start to come towards you, you slowly walk away. Oh. Um, especially mums and babies. Can you not go? He's a banana. We well, can do. 
but then if the orangutan rips your arm off oh. or kills you, it's your own fault. Do they have like um, keepers that are stood around with like zapper things? No, no zapper things. Guns. <gasps> oh. Yeah, so there was a comment that was made which was, at some point we'll shoot you or the orangutan and one of you is an endangered species. Oh dear. <laughs> so it's like, oh, I'm going to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> Did um, get a message on Grinder in there? No, no signal. No signal? The only place I had signal the entire time I was away was in the hotels when I had Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, um, no monkey business. No monkey business now. No, no. I thought one of them was eyeing you up. There was an Australian gentleman that was stood in front of us that I was eyeing up. I meant one of the monkeys. That's okay, I was talking about the Australian gentleman. Oh, okay. Very tall with a very lovely bottom. Oh. Ooh. Did you not like mount him like that monkey did? I, I did try. I tried to give him a banana and slip it in him, but he wasn't having it. Um, he wasn't really. Me monkey. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Would you like to see some more orangutans? I would indeed. I think we've got some more orangutans then. That hat there is the handsome Australian gentleman. Oh, okay. And then <laughs> some wild ones. Wild ones. So monkeys. just outside of the, of the park. So it's gone so it's gone wild. Yeah, so that's the fifteen cents. So that's the century also, yeah. The ones that are in the camp thing, mm -hmm. are they well not tame, but are but they, they don't they, they're live being in rehabilitated nature. to be outside of oh. That's a civet. A civet. A civet. It's a nocturnal animal. And is very, very vicious. But it's out in the day, Mike. Out in the daytime and right by people. And, and what? Right by people's person. Yes. Yeah. Were you, not, were you not tempted to stroke it? No. Yeah, it's after food, really. It doesn't look happy. Well, you know, it's daytime, isn't it? It's uh, looking out for somebody's work it up. <laughs> claw them. Gonna claw them. Mm. Mm -hmm. So there was no, you could, I would want to have actual physical interaction with them. I wanted to as well, and Phil came very close when he didn't move, and the gamekeeper said, move, move, move. Um, so, yeah, we got shouted at. <laughs> uh, I would say, please may I hold your baby? Mm -hmm. And the, the orangutan, orangutan would, would say, go, of there's, course you may. There's, there's your arm, thank you very much. No, she'd go, of course you may. Yeah. Hold my baby. And then I would run away. And I'd say, you've only got tiny legs, you can't catch me. And I'd be off. Because, yeah, you can run quick. <laughs> there are cars. No, there's not. <laughs> there's no roads. It's all How dirt did you get tracks. To it? Dirt tracks. How did you walk? On a, on a four by four car thing. Oh, we'll see. There you go. You wouldn't get in one of them. I would. On a bumpy road. Yes. Bumpy like if that. If there's a baby monkey. Orangutan. Baby orangutan. Are they monkeys or apes. are they apes? They're apes. Right. Okay. Did yes. any of them speak? Yes, three like of on, them spoke. Like on them. Um, Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yes, three of them spoke. Two are extra. Two more is sign language. Oh, oh. British, not American. Actual sign language. Yeah. What What did they say? They what said um, Lee's talking. Oh. Um, well, okay. Didn't get it at that moment in time. Oh, now it's making sense. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Did you Did you feel connected with nature? I felt very. So having no mobile signal was a killer for the first few days. Oh my god. Because you know me, I'm always on grinder. Um, Always like looking at stuff. And You're an animal, aren't you, Mike? I am. An absolute animal. Dirt bag, I believe. Quash that like libido just for a few days. Couldn't. 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 But I was also sharing a room, so I couldn't. Oh. 
express myself, shall we say. Um, <laughs> did it, did, did, did it, did it, did, uh, was it like a detox, a, a cyber detox? Did you get used to not going on your phone? I was holding it all the time. We were filming, but were you used to, yeah. did you uh, get used to kind of not having all the internet? I, I got used to not having any contact with the outside world, which was kind of nice, mm -hmm. but also really distressing. Did you not at no point go, do you know what? Um, sod this, sod humanity, strip naked and just like go <laughs> into the forest. <laughs> Turn that off. <laughs> Sound not a strike at any point. Well, oh, stick around. Coming up next, we have more from Borneo. Welcome back. Mike and Phil are still going around Sepilok, where they are going to encounter some bears. Because a black bear. It's not, it's a sun bear. Oh. They have the world's longest tongue for a bear. <laughs> How long? Very long. As long Very as long, long, is it? Yes. Not much evidence. Is that so they can get into like termite mounds? It's a rimming. Rimming? It's a rimming. Oh, stupid. I'd like to do rimming. You don't find this out on. on David Attenborough programs, no, do you? No. The winning um, bears of Montmartre. Sun bears. <laughs> sun bears of Borneo. The sun bears of Borneo. Yes. Um, You're watching Chill in the Cud. Fed. And this week we're at a mud volcano in Borneo. It's a mud volcano. Did you get in it? No. Because if I went in it, I would fall through. You would fall through the earth. I'm 700 feet deep, that is, um, and it's literally hot mud. So it's 400 feet deep, 700 feet deep. You just exaggerated that bit, didn't you? <laughs> no, it's 700. It's actually in the VT. About 400, isn't it? 700. It's in the VT. <laughs> um, so it's 700 feet deep. So mm. if you got into it, you would drown. In what if wood. you just put your bell end in it? It would burn your bell end off because it's sulphur, okay. as well as mud, and it's hot. It's a volcano. Um, you mean that's again? That's another missed opportunity. You could have a spa there. <laughs> no, because it erupts. Mud treatments are, it erupts. are all the rage. And they do use the mud do they? for mud treatments and stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, but it not there. Not there. Because the ground is not solid. Oh. It's liquidy. In the orangutan thing, like orangutans giving you massages with the mud and stuff. Yes, that's yeah. exactly what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then a, and a macaque comes over and shags you. <laughs> Slips it in while you're not looking. <laughs> Lovely. Um, um, <laughs> Using mud as lube. The sun bears come in and lick it all off. Exactly. Um, <laughs> 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 it's called the bare necessities of massage. That. Did it erupt while you were there? No. Not even a... It, it was... Bubbling. Yeah. Um, but not big eruptions because it had erupted like three years before. Oh. And it's natural volcano, so it's... Would you have had to have run? We wouldn't have been allowed anywhere near it if it oh. were to erupt. Don't go near it. Because you would die. Yes. Because it's hot mud. Yes. It's like, yes. I'd still put my finger in it. I know you were. It smelt foul as well. It smelt like death. Now you're just turning me on. <laughs> Talking about turning Lee on, time for something a little bit dangerous. Today, well this evening more like, we're getting ready to go on, now I can't say for legal reasons, poacher hunt, so we're going to call it a nighttime safari, okay? So this, this evening's nighttime safari, it's going to be me and a couple of the other guys in the back of a van, pitch black, because it's like pitch black out here, like before 8pm, okay? Um, and we're going to see some wildlife. Stick around. It's scary. <laughs> so that's literally it. We are in the back of a 4x4. Four four. Good 
pitch black I'm scared I'm going to get fisted. Oh, have yeah. you got night vision? A bit night vision. You see that little movement there? A uh, leaf? You see that there? Oh, a monkey, yeah, but a rat thing. Yes. Oh, they're cute. It was cute. Oh. So it was a nature walk. Okay. Nighttime safari, sorry. Did you, did you perchance upon any other people going for a nature walk? It wasn't walk? dogging. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, did you come across any poachers? No. 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 They weren't out that there night. Weren't, there weren't any poachers that we were seeing. No. no. Which is good because we, were, we weren't on a poacher hunt. No. Do, we do, the, do orangutans go to sleep at night? Uh, yes, they do. Oh. Up in trees. Oh. They build How themselves. do they have the beds up there? They make nests. Oh. A new nest every night as well. Dragging a, a box spring every night. That's hard <laughs> work. <laughs> they, they get leaves and things. Oh. And then they sleep in it. Oh. It's quite cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that made you all warm and fuzzy inside. Reasonably. Oh, um, okay. Did you see any other animals? Snakes? No snakes. Panthers. We did see some um, ancestral chickens. A what? So the chicken, as we know and love, nom nom nom, yes. right, is native to um, Asia. F from from the beginning. From the beginning, right, and they've they've got out. And they've got out. They've got out. <laughs> <laughs> they got out. Flown all that way. <laughs> no, they just ran. They don't really fly very far. Right. Um, Jumping on boats and stuff. But they looked a bit like giraffe chickens because they have really long necks and tiny bodies. Oh. Yeah. Tasted delicious. Oh, you ate some then, did you? Yeah, because all the food that we were eating. Oh, okay. It was around. They didn't like break the necks in front of you and like do like. No, but they could have, but I wouldn't have minded. It's not, not looked on in KFC as an appropriate way of preparing. No, because KFC is not, not wild chicken. Yeah. Oh, what else are we going to see then? Well, let's have a look what it's like to sleep in the jungle. So this is the lodge. And is that where you stayed? This is one of the places I stayed, yes. Okay. So it's the Rainkers rainforest. Yeah. You know, it's pretty much always raining. But that's the room. And the condensation on the window is because the air conditioning is on full belt. Oh. <laughs> okay. As the, as the jungle dies. As the jungle dies around me. I'm oh, cool. With us. <laughs> yes. And that trick is everywhere. What is it? It's it's a local concoction of, of, of herbs and spices and things. Okay? Uh -huh. Now, I thought I'd bring some Borneo to you. Is it iced tea? Sort of, yes. Is it gorilla piss? It's gorilla piss, yes. So I've got some here for you. How long has that been in there? Just a couple of days. It's not, it's fresh. I got the recipe. So there's not a lot of colour to it. Looks like underbrewed tea. It does look a bit like underbrewed tea, doesn't it? Oh, ooh, that's pungent. It's very pungent. What is it? What have you got in it? It's tasty. Yeah, but what is it? Try some. No, I, I need to know what's in it first because I may be allergic. You're not allergic to it. I might be though. You're not. I can smell beef. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing smells of beef in the studio. <laughs> it's got honey in it. It's sweet. It's lovely. Don't like it. Do you not? No. I th it's, 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 I'm... Is there ginger in it? <laughs> ginger, lemongrass and honey. Oh, okay. I think it, it would be better very cold. Mm. Pretend it's very cold. Over ice. Yeah. Don't have ice in the studio. No. No. But it's tasty good. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, very gingery. It's very, I like it. Yeah, it's good though. I'm not going to go that far, but you know. 
but they also had to do that as a hot drink with tea, oh. so normal tea as well, and that's really tasty. But could you could you have drunk a hot beverage in that humidity? Yes, I did. Did you? Yeah. Me without coffee in the morning. Did you head not just go? Imagine me without coffee. There's no caffeine in that. Exactly. So I had to have a coffee in the morning. Didn't I? Oh, okay. But then there's no caffeine in my coffee. There's... Okay. Yeah. Oh well, that's that's a. Is it, is it, does it have a does it have a name, an official local name? No, it does, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. <laughs> you went there for God's sake, Mike. You drank this every day. I did drink this every day, but they kept referring to it as their speciality. Oh. Right, and just listed off the ingredients, which Jeez. was great because then I had a, a list of ingredients to come back with. Oh, okay. Which was sugar, water, honey, lemongrass, and ginger. Snake venom. And cum. Oh, I thought that was the salty aftertaste. Mm, yeah, a bit of chew. Yeah. <laughs> Wallpaper pasty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, but now shall we have a look at a place called Kota Kilabanu? So this is one of the major cities of Borneo. Okay. Um, that big blue building there is the police headquarters. It's a substantial amount. It's a substantial amount. It's a very pretty building. Mm, well, we need to be to house all the homosexuals at the end. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, and as the, the food market, Okay. Um, with some big melons. Nice. <laughs> it's right on the right on the coast. Did you did you go to a fish market? I, I, there was a fish market in that market. Was there? Yes. Yeah, so it had fish, fruit, um, meat, octopuses, octopi, octopi. Yeah. Um, souvenirs. That's very industrial looking, isn't it? On the tops of buildings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's no swimming pools on the tops of buildings either. Oh, there is on the one on one. There's a swimming pool in that building. Oh. Did you, did you partake in any of unusual fruits? No, because it was illegal. No, in the, in the market. Ah, yes, I did taste a couple of things that were unusual. Oh. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Oh, oh really? Mm. Stay right there. It's coming up next. Mike goes cruising. Welcome back to our special Wish You Were Queer from Borneo. Now Mike is about to live his Titanic fantasy. We are about to go on a river cruise down at the Kinabatangan, which is that river just behind. Ooh. Going to be about two hours, so I'm covered in all the chemicals known to man. So there's um, bug repellent, sun cream, two of the most um, biggest chemicals known to man. Um, no poppers, because it's not that kind of cruising. I thought you were going on a drugs bust. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we're wearing life jackets because if you fall in the water, um, the crocodile needs to find you. Well spotted. Oh, is this when you kind of got the existential so, crisis? Here we, here we are, just before the existential crisis. Just watch the screen. Watch for something moving. How old would he be? Oh. A little ripple. How old would he be? When Did you see that then? What, was it a snake? That was a crocodile. Oh, that was a very That had seen our it? boat. <laughs>
like traily fingers in the water just for a little bit of refreshment? No. Well, they're referred to. You can do, but again, crocodiles. Nom, 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 nom. You could like lift your finger out and there'd be like five baby crocodiles hanging on your or fingers. You, or, someone, or a crocodile could go, oh, look, fingers. Hom. Oh. Did you see any large crocodiles? Yes. <gasps> quite a few. And they came quite close to the boat. Oh. Yes, I had a brown trouser moment. Did you? Made a little brown fish. For the... I shat myself, to be fair. <laughs> False right. But no, um, people that live there live off the land and the sea and the river. Mm. So even when we are at the lodge, right, they came and like, the dinner was wild chicken, wild fish. So it, on the menu it said river fish. It didn't tell you what kind of fish it was. Oh. But it still had its head attached. So oh, you know it was I would not enjoy that. Why not? I don't like anything that's got its face to consume. <laughs> you don't have to eat the face. No, but I, I know it, it's been there looking at me. Did it have bones in it? Yeah. Mm. No, it was the famous boneless fish. Um, I, you know, what do you, what do you, what do you put anybody out if they just kind of deboned it, kind of presented it, covered in breadcrumbs? <laughs> in a, a fish in a finger yeah. shape. <laughs> on two chunks of white bread. <laughs> Would it hurt them? <laughs> oh, I don't think it would. Did, um, <laughs> did, were there any speciality foods? Yes, there was one that we had a lot, which was um, beef rendon. Beef rendon. Yeah, which is delicious. I'm you taking, probably won't like it because it's spicy. I've taken it has beef. Beef, yeah, yeah. And rendon. And rendon. Um, and ginger and garlic and um, turmeric and lots and lots of different flavours. <laughs> Did you eat monkey brains out of a monkey's head like on Raiders of the Lost Ark? No, because two things. I wasn't in South America. Okay. And two, that's a movie. Okay. <laughs> um, Just thought I'd check. Just Doesn't Paddington come from Borneo? No, that's Peru. Okay. Once again, South America. I don't know geography. You don't know geography. <laughs> <laughs> so China Sea. I think okay. China Sea, not American okay. area. Did um did well all that kind of ginger and mm. honey and spices and stuff, you won't have been troubled by a cold, will you? <laughs> <laughs> the fact With it was the 30 degrees most of the time. No, surprisingly. No, no, no. Lots of eggs as well. Lots of eggs. Did you become egg bound? No, because of all the other spices. Balanced oh, it balanced it all out, did it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. But not a lot of cheese. Not a lot of cheese. No. Well, there's, <laughs> there's not a lot of cows, though, is there? Because they're eating it all in a beef rang bang. Aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you say rang bang. <laughs> so it doesn't look very. Agricultural. There are some agricultural areas. That, well, to be fair, Borneo is quite agricultural because palm oil. Oh. So that's the, one of the big problems. That's why they're trying to encourage tourism. Okay, um, to kind of offset the palm oil. Because because what they don't want people to do is just think of palm oil and grow palm groves. Mm -hmm. What they're saying is if we can get people to do more in the rainforests and bushcraft and lodges and things. Did you say bushcraft? Bushcraft, yeah. Don't say that again. Why? <laughs> What's wrong with bushcraft? I just don't want to hear it. I don't like the sound of it. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yes. <laughs> so, bushcraft. <laughs> like making things in the bush. That could be a crafty queens, couldn't it? Bushcraft. I'm making a coconut out of a coconut. I wouldn't put it as that far advanced. I'm making a coconut <laughs> out of nothing. <laughs> what was I saying before we went off on bushcraft? Um, something about cows. Beef, <laughs> agricultural. Oh, yes. um, so they're trying to encourage people to be tourists, okay? Right, and come and spend money that way rather than have to get money out of palm oil. Oh, right. right to try and save the, the rainforest mm. and stuff. Because it's quite scary when you're driving through and you see nothing but palm groves. Mm. It's, yeah, it's quite surreal. That's not a, not a na, 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 That's not a natural plant to that area, is it? It's a natural plant, but they farm it intensely, so you oh. see it in straight rows. Okay. The stuff and it's yeah. Did you drink coconut water? I, I had quite a lot of coconut-based things. There's a lot of coconut-based things out there, yeah. Mm, that goes right through you, doesn't it? No. No. Constitution of an ox. Okay. With all them eggs. But yeah, while we're talking about being headbound, let's get all one with nature. So this is primary rainforest. And what that means is that it's just nothing but rainforest, right? And it's not been farmed, it's not been planted, it's natural rainforest. Some of the things you might not experience in the UK that you might experience in Borneo is massive <laughs> seeds like that. It's actually one single seed from a plant. It's from a tree, okay? 
And here there are some butterflies that disguise themselves as these seeds. I'm just going to show you what they look like anyway. Isn't that pretty? Off it goes. Looks a bit like a butterfly. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? Yeah. Um, lots of wildlife around. Um, this morning we're woken up by macaques, which are just monkeys that, you know, will try and steal your sandwiches. If you feed them sandwiches. Um, so yeah, stick around as we do more of Borneo exploring then. You're watching Chewing the Cut and we're here in the um, lodge, I'm going to say lodge, um, bathroom, shower. And we've got a little visitor. Come see. There he is. There's a gecko. Okay, and they're really cute and really quick and they like to eat bugs and things so it means that I don't get bitten as much which is lovely I'm also in a massive bathroom How big is this bathroom? Why is there a heater on? Huh? Why was there a heater on in the bathroom? Why is there a heater on? It was like an electric heater on no, no, that was the air conditioning. Oh, in the okay. <laughs> Burning itself out. <laughs> yeah, go here. It's like, you're not living in a fridge. Calm down. I'm not cold enough unless I can see ice. <laughs> exactly. I want to see my breath. Ah. Was there, was there like, um, oh, sorry, that just my anus falling out. Um, is, <laughs> again. Again. Is there like, um, so like nature stuff, mm -hmm. la 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 la. But then can you go and like have a lovely massage? Yes. So I, I had a couple of massages while I was there. Um, oh. Hot stone massage, which was very lovely. Um, I had a pedicure with a foot soak. Oh, and it's, did you I, have those fish? No, f no fish. No fish. Just them um, stones. A couple of crocodiles. <laughs> a couple of crocodiles. <laughs> Bonobo. Um, but I had my feet in a bucket of what some people said looked a bit like soup. Oh. Yeah, I had leaves and stuff in it, and it oh. smelled very lovely. Oh. But as, as a as a young young lady, rubbed my head. Rubbed your head. That's rubbed a bit. Head. Did that not feel a bit weird? A ball didn't work. No, I know, but it feels a bit. Mm. Just, mm, mm, mm. Okay, oh, that's okay. Did she have that expression while she was doing it as well? I don't know. <laughs> she was behind me. Oh, 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 just... I'm assuming she had that. Where is her? Okay. Yeah. Oh, it looks lovely. Well, stick around because the holidays come to an end now, so it's time to fly home. Welcome back to Chewing the Cod, and I wish you were queer special. Now it's time to go home and see what it's like to fly first class. Hello, here I am still in Borneo. I've just arrived in the airport in Kita Kilabanu. Kita Kilabanu? It doesn't Kita say mm. Flying home today. Uh, yeah, it is. Lounge where there's free booze. <laughs> it's gonna be a messy flight. I'm still going from here. We're then going to Kuala Lumpur, and then from Kuala Lumpur it's first class, all the way home to Manchester. So yeah, stick with us and see what happens. So here we are, first class on an Emirates flight. It's very swanky. Um, just been served a drink. It's a very lovely single malt milch. And um, yeah, olives as well. So maybe a little sweet, I call it sweet. Show a little bit of a, a look around. And um, yeah, it's currently like three in the morning for me, so I'm very tired. And um, 
going to be getting a nap very shortly. Already in my pyjamas. And um, yeah, we get, we get a full bed with a duvet and proper pillow and everything. So yeah, stick around. So yeah, there's actually a shower on the plane as well. So yeah, you can actually get yourself nice and naked and have a shower. Your face! <laughs> Scared though, weren't you? Have you no dignity? <laughs> no, I don't have any dignity. I've got a blur on. It's covering me knees so you can't see me being hit. Did you enjoy a coffee in the shower? No, the didn't have time. Didn't have time? Didn't have time. Didn't have time. Why is it time limited? Yeah, you only get 20 minutes of shower. That's like five. <laughs> After that long, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is pleasant. What, just having a shower? Yes, yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for sharing that. I thought I would. Yeah. What happens after 20 minutes if you're not out? Do they like decompress their, their room? <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> basically, the side of the plane opens and you get sucked off. Oh, well. Oh! <laughs> you're lingering in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but while on board, you got to try lots of different delicacies and things. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, lots of dates and um, Eastern foods and. Mm -hmm. Lots of chocolates, which were tasty. Chocolate. Yeah, so much so that when I got to the airport, I thought I need to buy some of those chocolates and take them home. And did you? I did, I brought some home. Had they run out of the ones on the plane that you couldn't steal? No. Mm. Um, so I, I've brought us a box of chocolates to share. And the gallery have some too. Oh, did what are they made out of? Did have. So so this is a dark chocolate. Okay. Okay. Um, with fruit inside. Mm. Mm. Like, is, it like, is it like, is it like, is it like, um, Turkish Delight? It's not like Turkish Delight at all, it's actual fruit compote. Okay, it's a fruit called durian fruit. Have you heard of that before? Okay. Yeah. Oh, it smells unpleasant. <laughs> Pop it in your mouth. It's no, fine. it smells unpleasant. <laughs> the smell does smell unpleasant, but the chocolate. The I don't. I don't want to put that in my mouth. It smells unpleasant. <laughs> that smells dirty. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't like it. Try it. Why would they make it like that? <laughs> Why would they Try make it. something that on the minute you open the packet, there's a vile stench? Just because it's travelled. Eat it, taste. Because it's travelled. <laughs> So it's off then? <laughs> Not off. Oh. Has it been sweating in your bag? <laughs> no, it hasn't. I don't like it. <laughs> Try it, it's lovely. It's not lovely. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> it's, my stomach is clenching. I don't like it, mate. <laughs> I did do it. I have one, I don't like it. <laughs> that. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> that is not nice. Enjoy it, fruit. It's a delicacy. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> There's a, that chocolate. <laughs> That's a really unpleasant, really unpleasant aftertaste. It stinks. <laughs> it tastes horrible. And it doesn't, and it lingers. <laughs> like a fart. <laughs> like one of your farts, yeah. Um, would you like a tip? No. So we need injury stuff. No. Why? What's that going to do? It's a stronger flavour. Oh, it's horrible! <laughs> what does it make it worse? I can never remember the way around. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Not a fan? No. How, how are you going on with it, Gary? It's <laughs> 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 just, like, just like one wrapper. Like. <laughs> just swallowed them all. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> are, they, are they? Is is that like like what chocolate is supposed to taste like? No, it's durian fruit. It's the world's stinkiest fruit. Oh, there was a reason behind it then. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's called the king of fruits. Well, it's not the durian. Um, and they describe it as having a strong odor of beef. <laughs> it's <laughs> gone off. No, there's no beef in that. It's horrible. There's zero beef. It's in like that. something has gone off. It is it that plant that, that just like that grows once a year and that's no, like no. A, no 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 this is this is the fruit that actually grows all over them and why would if it tastes bad 
It doesn't taste bad. It does, though. It doesn't. You just think it tastes bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, my, my, my nervous system. <laughs> it, it does taste nice. You just think it doesn't. Yeah, exactly. See? <laughs> How would you Stupid not? taste buds. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I cannot be convinced. Yeah, um, it's quite popular in Asia, during fruit. Nice. <laughs> not convinced at all, are you? No, that's vile. Yeah. Okay. Burn them. No chance. In fact, I don't think they would burn. <laughs> because of the gaseous brown flame. <laughs> so, to get these home, um, I had to put them in the hold luggage. You had to declare them. I had to declare them. They had to be vacuum packed so they didn't like have any gases around them. Yeah. Was it produced enough of its own? What are you going to do with that? What are you uh, going to do with them? Eat them. No, you're not. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with your face now? It's just they're just not pleasant. Yeah. I think they are. Well, thank you for that exotic treat. Exactly. It's, you've got to try something new. And I, and I have, and I will never try it again. <laughs> You're still I'm licking just, your lips. Just gonna, just, still I, I just want to like, yeah, because it's like... Did you bring anything else back with you? Did you yeah, you've any, had it all already. Did you know any of your, for your own personal abode? Did you, you know, any sculptures or any, no. any art? Because pretty much what I was, whatever I had, I had to carry for the entire holiday. Okay. So I didn't buy much. Um, I did buy you a little gift, though. Is it shit fruit? It's not shit fruit, it's an actual objet d'art. Is it? Yes. Would you like to have a look in your cupboard? Is it going to jump out? Not twice. Is it, is it, is it one of those, those, those rape monkeys? <laughs> <laughs> rape monkey. That's a lovely precious paperweight for you. It is, indeed. It features a, an orangutan. Uh -huh. Is it a hornbill? Uh, it is, is a hornbill. That's a hornbill. A hornbill. And and it is got a picture of the Petronas Towers. The Petronas Towers. Yeah. What's? Would well, yes? Did you barter for it? Yes. I give you one pound. And they said no. We work in ringgit here, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> 29 ringgits. That's how it was priced. I got it to, down to 20. Oh. Which means it was really 20. And, that, and that, that's glass, isn't it? It's glass, yeah. Well, that's beautiful. Thank you for that. I shall, um, I shall drop that round the charity shop on the way home. <laughs> shall, shall, we, shall we put it up on a shelf, maybe? Oh, why not? Um, let's put it there. Yeah. Oh, I can't really see it. It's, uh... That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv and of course on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye.